been studying this uh, box elder here, trying to decide how I want to fall it. I'm probably going to end it on my tree there, so I'd like to fall it almost straight north. a little dull. Should have put a touch of sharpening on it. So if I do this right, to get it to pull towards the camera, I need to leave some of it here so when it goes to tip over it kind of holds on the back side and pulls it on over. Otherwise I'll probably end it up right in the next crash down an apple tree that I don't want to, but I'm not too worried. I want to get it out of here.
Let's see if it's starting to thin. It doesn't seem to be. <clears throat> so, I'll put a few wedges in here to help it out. Well, I got four wedges here. A plastic one, aluminum, a relatively new steel one, and an old steel one that's been used. Grandpa's. Now I want it to go right away from me. I don't want to hit it with the, the wedges with the chainsaw. Plastic one and the aluminum one are the least harmful if I hit them with the chainsaw. So we'll put those where I'm sorry. from going the way I don't want it to.
Let's put it over here. There we go. Ah, it's gonna go right. Get out of the way. Perfect. I didn't take down the tree on either side. Whew. Was that luck? Now, I'll gather up four wedges. And for me, I'll put this stuff away. Yeah, that was all that was left. A little bit there. And I just shoved it over right where I wanted it. my tools, take them back, and then I'll worry about sawing it up when I get rested up from my the, uh, excitement of dropping a tree. Okay. Pretty good sized. Be a good one for the wood splitter. Now, this row of trees back out here is just back to Siberian crab apples. If I'm smart, next spring I'll spray the stumps down good with Roundup or something like that because they sprout back really grow fast with all that root system the first year so if I want to kill them I have to kill them with